we're trying to call. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm the city secretary. Okay. I've been calling the mic. It's my fault. I can't release any type of information. Y'all ready? Yeah. Thanks, uh, just one second. Hey, make Sorry. sure everybody's good. Okay, I'm good. Good. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm Scott Spencer, uh, SCOTT, SPN, CER, Lieutenant with yeah. the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. What we have is that at 518 this uh, this evening, communications with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office received a call from a stagecoach PD officer advising he had just shot an individual that was breaking into his residence here at the 16,100 block of Single Tree Road. Responding law enforcement arrived on location and entered the residence and found a deceased male in a bathroom inside the residence. The male appears to have died from the multiple gunshot wounds. The case and the circumstances around the burglary and shooting are currently being investigated by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney's Office, as well as the Texas Rangers. The, uh, we'll, we'll update you as soon as we have more information, but right now that's all we really have. And do I have any questions? Yeah, do we know, was the suspect armed? Don't know that yet. The medical examiner and the judges just walked in, so that we don't know that part yet. Do you have any information about the suspect? Did they know each other? I mean, was it just a random break -in? Right now, the, the the individual that we're speaking to has not been is, is provided us some information, but he has a medical issues right now um, that are unrelated to the shooting. So he's being treated by EMS, and that's why EMS is down there. He has uh, high blood pressure, other issues. Uh, how many suspects are we talking? One. So there was just one suspect. One. One male subject. I know we've had multiple reports that there was a female involved and that this was a Montgomery County Sheriff's deputy. It is not. It is a stagecoach officer. We can tell you that he has 35 years of law enforcement experience and the last two years he's been with the stagecoach police department. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office still wasn't involved? In no, we did respond. We were on scene at the same time with stagecoach, but we didn't. This was not a shooting involving a Montgomery County Sheriff's officer. This officer, was, was he on duty when it happened? Or no, was he was he, not on duty. He was off the phone. Any other questions? Okay. Just, okay. Two people in the house. just yes, the suspect and the uh, and the officer. And it's the officer who's having high blood pressure issue yes. right now. Okay. But he uh, he was was he injured in any way whatsoever during the? No, not that we're aware of. Yeah. And if you just could, if you, if you have the details, uh, did he walk through his front door? His, how did he notice the suspect in his home? Well, I, that part is still under investigation by the detectives. I don't know where he came in contact with him in the residence. 
Uh, the detectives and all of them have not been through the scene. The judge has just been through the scene. So right now the detectives and the investigators are working on getting the warrants, getting the information to get inside the residence and continue their investigation. Why, why do they have to get warrants to get inside the investigation to, to get inside the house? Just are they not be, being extremely thorough in the case to get warrants for any type of uh, evidence that could be collected in the in the scene and the shooting. They're just being extremely thorough in the investigation. With the officer who, who shot the suspect, he's not he is he he's cooperating. Yes, right now he's providing us him with information. Yes. You, would you know what their uh, uh, stagecoach PD's procedures are? Is he going to go on administrative leave right away? Well, typically most law enforcement agencies do have that uh, M -M on that procedure on file to be able to do that. So usually a three-day uh, uh, light duty assessment will be handled, but that again, that would be for the stagecoach's administration. It's right. lieutenant, right? Yes. Is right. there a suspect vehicle found or anything? Not that, we are, not that I've been made aware of yet. Do you have any information age-wise about the suspect? Uh, he's older and probably in his 50s. He appears to be in his 50s, the suspect. Any idea if he's a local or... They haven't gotten that far yet. Um, for, uh, the victim, I believe, was uh, face down. Or the, I'm sorry, the uh, individual that was shot was face down. Uh, and ethnicity? Uh, no he is a white male. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. My name is Lieutenant Scott Spencer. I'm a lieutenant for the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Spencer's SPNCER. So we have an update regarding the shooting that occurred earlier. So what we can tell you is that the Montgomery County Justice of the Peace, along with the Montgomery County Forensic Services, have entered the residence. And once inside the residence, they were able to ascertain a presumptive identification on the shooting victim. Based on this presumptive identification, we believe the deceased is now a Harris County Sheriff's Deputy. From what we know, the stagecoach officer and the Harris County Sheriff's Deputy, the deceased victim, are brothers. At this point in the investigation, we don't believe there was a burglar at the residence. The exact circumstances surrounding the shooting are currently under investigation. This investigation is being handled by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, along with the District Attorney's, uh, Montgomery County District Attorney's Office and the Texas Rangers. So the part about it being an intruder, does that raise speculation at this point? Obviously, they knew each other. Again, we're not going to speculate at what's going on. We believe that there is some type of, this isn't a burglary, so there's some type of domestic issue that has occurred. So all our detectives and all one are going to be looking and investigating all evidence. So how is the stagecoach officer being treated? As a, as a suspect, a person of interest, or what, how is he being treated at this point? He's, he's being questioned. Right now, he's being treated for the medical conditions that you know that he was transported for. So at this time, he's cooperating. He's still talking to our detectives, so we're still tr treating this as an active investigation. Will he be detained? He, he currently is being treated for medical conditions. Right now, it's, it's just an active scene, an officer-involved shooting. Sheriff, are you ready to release his name to the name um, of your deputy? Uh, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, uh, we're not ready to release his name at this time. We want to make sure that there's ample time to uh, notify you next of kin. And we're also obviously following the process here in Montgomery County. So I want to thank the Montgomery County uh, Sheriff's uh, Office, uh, Lieutenant Spencer, and the team here. Rangers as well that are assisting in the investigation. Obviously for us, on behalf of the Harris County Sheriff's Office, our hearts are, uh, are broken uh, this evening. Uh, every indication indicates that we've lost one of our own this evening, a very tragic situation, especially when you're talking about circumstances involving two brothers. Uh, we 
information is still somewhat fragmented and it's still preliminary. So uh, we ourselves are trying to process it and uh, put all the pieces together ourselves. So, uh, you know, we're going to be hurting for, for a long time. And so, uh, you know, we're going to just try to respect the process. We're just here to offer support. And as soon as we can give an update, we will. But the official uh, identification, all that obviously will come through their JP and, and out here in Montgomery County. And as soon as we can release that, I'm sure that we will release the name. Uh, but again, on behalf of the Harris County Sheriff's Office, you know, our hearts are broken, deeply sorrowed uh, to, to see what unfolded out here uh, earlier this evening. And so we're going to be out here just to uh, see how we can lend our support. Sheriff, on Twitter, you asked for prayers for the family. Uh, can you tell us anything anything about the, the, your deputy, Was how long he was uh, a member of, of the office? Just uh, early indications, this basic information that we're piecing together is that this was a veteran of the Harris County Sheriff's Office that had been on you know, many years. Uh, and so, again, you know, just our thoughts and prayers go out to him and the family. And we do ask for the community's prayers. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we'll update everyone as soon as we as we can. Like I said, we're trying to process this ourselves right now, um, you know, as his, uh, as his colleagues. So as soon as we can, we'll, we'll share more information. Thank you. Montgomery County Sheriff's Office está investigando un incidente que pasó anteriormente. Inicialmente uh, hubo información que tal vez había sido como un robo o algo que ocurrió dentro de la casa. Uh, eso no es lo que pasó. Parece, no sabemos que, cuáles son los detalles exactamente, pero parece que el incidente ocurrió entre dos hermanos. Un hermano oh. vaya al otro y el, 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 el que murió aquí en la escena es uno de nuestros oficiales del condado de Harris, el oficial del condado de Harris. Entonces, en este momento no estamos uh, dando el nombre de él por respeto a la familia que se le tiene que notificar y estamos respetando obviamente el proceso de ellos, ellos son los que van a llevar el control del caso y todo eso y entonces nosotros vamos a respetar eso, pero le pedimos a la comunidad que nos den sus oraciones porque perdimos uno de nuestros oficiales hoy y tan pronto que podamos dar el nombre lo daremos, pero en este momento no lo podemos hacer. Que, que, que quizás eh, el que disparó se confundió y creyó que era un ladrón. No, no, no sabemos, estamos muy seguros que no fue un incidente de un ladrón, pero es, estamos tratando de ver cuáles otros detalles para dar mejor información, pero no parece que fue lo que inicialmente se reportó que era como un robo, una confusión, no parece que eso es lo que pasó. Thank you. Thank you.